Hello, welcome back to the final uh, video session. In this session, I'm just going to talk about the 2D plot, especially how to draw the simple waveforms and how to plot a particular equations or something like that. Okay. Now we have just considered a simple, you know, function, which let us say f of x is nothing but 3x plus 4. We want to plot this value. What generally we do is, uh, based on mathematics, like you may try to take the values of x either from the negative and then to positive, you as per your interest, and then you try to find out the value. Okay, if we say f of x is nothing but y, you try to find out the values, and then you will take this as a x-axis and y-axis. You will try to plot the curve. Now how this can be done in a MATLAB. Uh, this is a very simple operation. This is uh, only shown for you to understand, to understand how to plot the simple, you know, mathematical functions using the MATLAB. Uh, this is how the result should appear. I will demonstrate that one. So we are in a command window now. So I am just going to define the values of x. I say x is nothing but minus 1, 0, 1, 2. See if you do not put a semicolon at the end, the value will repeat as such. You know you cannot see the program in a single line. You may get overflow. So always we can use a semicolon so that it will not echo. The operation will be carried out, but it will not print the result on the screen. Just see here, it will just keep quiet. That means it will not echo on the screen. I say now y equals okay, 3 star x, this was uh, the equation plus 4 and a semicolon. And you can see again the y value is created based on the mathematical expression and the values are stored. Then I say now a simple command called plot. Plot, we have x axis and we have y axis. I say now plot x comma y. Even you put your semicolon, still you will see the MATLAB is busy at present and it is generating the, the waveform now. It may not take this much time. I believe I am just running some other simulation side by. So that is why the system is uh, taking a little bit time. Otherwise it will finish off very quickly. Thank God. Okay. This is a you know the function which we plotted. Now you can see there is no label on x and y axis. You can always fix the labels by using the command let us say like x label. You want to mention just say like only x. Okay. So you can mention x label. So once you say that command you see on x axis we get a variable name called x. And you want to say y label, I say f of x. And again, you will notice here in y axis we got f of x. You want to make the grid, that means you want to get the axis, then I can just say a command called grid on. Again, you will notice on the waveform there is a you know minor grid grid on x and y axis, and you want to put a title for this particular waveform. I say now T I T L E title. Whatever you want to give a title, you can give it here. So my God.
so title i say it's a plot of a function and i also say a legend i say now f of x so you will observe all this information on the waveform so there is a legend we say f of x and we given a title and we have the x axis and y axis in case you want to see this is taken the default scale you know you want to fix your own scale again we have a command called axis okay within the square bracket you have to provide you can see here x minimum x maximum y minimum and y maximum these are the four parameters you have to provide so by looking at the graph you can see here one one is there so we can go ahead with uh, you know uh, minus range of 2 2 same way in x we have like 10 in a y we have a 10 in x we have 2 so we can go up to 4 or something like this on x axis okay that means i say here now minus 2 x minimum x maximum i go up to 4 and y minimum i go minus 2 and y maximum i go up to 4 so when i provide this information you can see the scale is going to adjust based on the information what you provided now this can be used you know uh, for your report writing or some other purpose which can be easily exported by using edit you can see copy figure you just copy here and it can be pasted into the uh, Microsoft Word or any other utilities okay and also there is a data that means the waveform you want to export this data into Excel and you want to process that is also possible so this is a simple plot command using the MATLAB is only two dimension as you notice here there is X and Y see it's not necessary we have to type this command every time something like this okay just see here I'm just closing now this one if you want to again get back the waveform you have to type now each and every command and not only that the MATLAB is not meant for only writing uh, commands like this we can always write this as a, a simple program the program we can start with the command edit whatever file name for the program you want to give let us say now wave one dot m as i told you m is a matlab program file so when you press enter it says this file is not available you want to create it you say yes as a small window it opens and you can see your file name dot m and you will also immediately observe in the current folder we saved a file name called wave one dot m so here you want to type all these commands let me just try to copy all of them copy here and paste it here okay and i'm just saving here now that means all these commands are available in that file so I just close this file now if you type in a command prompt only the file name that means I type wave 1 you just press enter now whatever program is written is all is going to run in one shot so that's a use of having you know m file so we have here many commands every command is going to run in one shot okay it is also possible to run the command from here we can also execute the file like if you click on this same way the result is going to get produced 
you you want to run maybe the program step by step like you want to check first four steps and you can always set a break point that means the program will run up to this and it will stop and again you can set a break point you can set a break point okay so every place if you set a break point the program is going to have a break see up to this it has finished the job now and you can see the program is in a break mode as of now there is no plot that means there is no window for the waveform again you say continue the waveform is plotted as you can see there is no grid there is no title there is nothing okay same way again you say continue it goes to the next stage like this we can also set the break point and see what happens in a programming or like we can say we can debug our program okay so this is the use of uh, you know having the m file and this how you can run the program using m file the only one example i given uh, let me give the second example also just to make a sine wave form so i just go for a new m file okay and i just try to save with the name let us say demo let us say demo 1 okay you can see immediately the file name appears here now this is i'm creating a variable t which starts from 0 it goes up to 2 pi and in the steps of 0.1 since the sin function it use the value in radian if you want to see just write here help sin it takes the value in radians so what we have done is here we try to get the value for two cycles of a sine wave form okay and then we say a equals sine of t that means i have a t is a x axis variable and a is nothing but my y axis variable i am plotting the t and a that means x and y and we say x of course in seconds it could be sorry it can be in radian and title is nothing but signal versus time so when you run the program you will see here a sine wave is appearing you can also say again grid on and also you can say y axis function is all you know is up to you to develop further and again you can use this waveform you can copy them into matlab and there are various functions are there only in two dimensional plot you can also mark the every point which you plotted there are a lot of functions are there you may try to explore those functions using help file so just say help plot you can see here there are various options are there is used for the linear plot for x and y and you can see you can change the color of the waveform different colors in case if you are plotting two three waveforms yes it is possible and you can also use the points or the marks or the star and the line of the waveform whether it's a solid or dotted there are different options are available you may try some of them by referring to these examples okay these are all some examples are given you may try it just by copying this just copy and just paste it and run you will see like the different kind of waveform okay so apart from that you may also practice to plot different waveforms like cosine waveform exponential waveform chartreuse as well as triangular and square waveforms using the m file program hope you enjoy this uh, Uh, four video sessions uh, thanks for watching